cow. Moo? Oh, this is bad. This is bad, see? This is real bad. I'm gonna try somewhere else. I'll be back. So, the cow left and went to Maggie Moo's for ice cream. Well then, there was one final place. This is bad. This is real bad, see? I, I got nowhere to live, see? I blend, I, I stand out in these stripes and I, wait a minute, what's over there? It was the horse's stable. I'm a pretty, pretty pony. Yes, you are. He <laughs> looks just like me, eh? See, hey. It, it, it's like looking in a mirror. What are you supposed to be? Well, I, what are you again? A horse? I'm a pretty, pretty pony. I, I'm a, I'm a pretty, pretty pony, see? That's where I am, see? You're a pretty strange looking pony. <laughs> Says oh, you. man, that's what everybody <laughs> says. But you know what? You can stay. <gasps> really? Sure. Hey, you won't regret it. I, I, I'll make you proud. I'll make you proud. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, here's the rules. We live in this stall right here, okay? Uh, you can leave the door open anytime you want to, because <laughs> we were born in barns. <laughs> and uh, for lunch, hey. Hey. You got the hang of it now. I got it. Come on, let's Come on. the rules. Hey. Let's go. hey. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Well, Zeb the zebra stayed there for three weeks. And then, one day in the stables, he heard the voice of a zookeeper calling for him. Hey, this is a great place. Zeb! Uh-oh. Zeb! I know that voice. Zeb, it's me, the zookeeper. Uh, Zeb, please come home. Yeah, there's nobody here but us pretty, pretty ponies. Oh, Zeb, you're not going back to the zoo, you know. No? Oh, no, your whole family has been moved. No? They've been moved to Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm going to Disneyland! <laughs> That's a deal! That's a deal! <laughs> so Zeb said goodbye to his friends at the farm. Goodbye, cow! And moved to Disney's Animal Kingdom with his family. The end! Story, I'm gonna need two more volunteers. How about uh, you, sir, the number three shirt, the green number three? Yeah, how would you come on up? Let's go back uh, this way towards the cheap seats and let's ask how about the young lady with the thing on her head? Yeah, got the sleeping beauty. Uh, uh, Sarah, come on up here. How are you, sir? What's your name? Dryden? Dry Dryden? Dryden? Dryden, I stand up here. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah, let's hear for Sarah and Dryden. Yeah! Okay, guys, before I can let you be in this show, I have to make sure that you can be really loud and that people will be able to hear you when you're up here saying your lines. So what I want to do is, uh, how about Dryden? We'll start with you. What's your favorite food in the whole wide world? What do you like to eat the most of all? Candy. All right, I want you to tell this whole audience that. I want you to say, my name is Dryden, and I love candy as loud as you can. My name is Dryden, and I love candy. Yeah! Good job. Very nice. All right, now, Sarah, what's your favorite food in the whole wide world? Mashed potatoes. Well, then tell them my name is Sarah, and I love mashed potatoes. My name is Mark, and I love Old Country Buffet. Because it's got everything. Our third, I don't know, our third story comes to us from the second grade. 
from Mrs. Johnson's class, Mia Moberly Cavalca! Hosted a swimming pool, an exercise room, continental breakfast, and ghosts, for it was haunted. The hotel owner called in two kids to find out the trouble. Their names were Alice and Jordan. All right, Jordan, here we are in the five-star hotel that they say is what? Are you scared? Yes. Oh, yeah, me too. Just a little bit, though. Where's that hotel manager? And in came the owner of the hotel. Stop! Yeah. <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see it? My reflection in your forehead? Oh. Yeah. No. I don't want to scare you, but it was a ghost! Yeah. Are you afraid of ghosts? You guys, what am I gonna do? It's a five-star hotel, but the ghost is scaring everyone away! Ah. Maybe if you advertise it as the sheets can uh, change themselves, and then they just think it's the sheets flying around and say, ooh. Uh, no, uh, that's a ah. I think I saw another one. Ah. Ah. That's the oh. oh. Stop. Sorry. Well, you know what? what? I, I remember, I, I know a scientist. She goes to the same optometrist as me. Maybe she can help out. Okay, I would be so grateful if you could give me the... Ah! Ah! Ghost! No, they're just watching the show. Oh, you're not ghost? That's right, ghost. Kindergartners. That's right. Ah! Ah! Oh, 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 this is terrible. Ah! And wow. so they left the five-star haunted hotel, and Alice and Jordan went to go see their scientist friend. <laughs> Creating all the things for the future today. Hey, Dr. Clock. So, um, uh, this five-star hotel down the road has got a really big problem. It's not roaches, it's not bumblebees, it's ghosts. I made an anti-ghost spray named Boob. It's Boob? Mm -hmm. I like it. It's Boob backwards. <laughs> All right, let me see it. Oh. And it's a pump spray, not aerosol, so it's good for the environment. Well done. All right, shall we go to the hotel and try it out, Doc? Yeah. All right, come on, Jordan. Let's go, you And guys. so the three of them made their way to the hotel. For they had to spray for ghosts. And once at the hotel, they All went right. to every corner, Everybody along every together. wall. Let's spray, spray everybody. <laughs> and they sprayed, they spritzed. As <laughs> you can, just like 
I do. And that's our show. Go for it. Awesome! Let's hear it for him. Oh, you're in Bridget's way. Let's get you in the boardroom. All right, our fourth and the final story is coming to us all the way from the second grade. Where's Mrs. Elmore's class? Ooh. Well, my last author is named Charlie Plath! Come on down, Charlie! Have a seat in our author's chair, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, you wrote a story called Imagination Island. Now, have you been there? No. Have you seen a brochure for the place? Are they offering any package deals to go on vacation there? No. Is, is this not a real place at all? No. No. Oh, then how did you come up with it? With your imagination? What a coincidence. It's called Imagination Island. And there's some uh, really exciting adventures that go on there. Are you ready to see? exciting adventures that come out, come out of your brain and onto the stage? Okay, Charlie. Well, I will stop bugging you and I will show you how wonderful your story was. I now present to you a story by Charlie Plough called Imagination Island. One day on Imagination Island, two friends were looking for something to do. They were Teddy the dog and Freddy the turtle. Hey, Freddy, hey, Freddy, hey, Freddy, hey, Freddy, hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. What? what? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Well, there's a lot to do on this island, lots to do. What do you want to do? Squirrel! Oh, I mean, what are you going to do? Hey, hey, there's a cave over there. Want to go in a cave? Want to go in a cave? Want to... No, why not? Why not? Are you scared? Are you scared of turtle? Scared turtle, scared turtle. Ah, I can't be a squirrel. Oh, what? Okay, hey, let's go in the cave, okay? Come on, follow me. Okay, good. You go first. Ah, uh, there might be something in there. I don't know. Let's go. In the cave, come so on. So they went deep inside the cave. Deeper and deeper. Where the light barely reached. Freddy, can you see anything yet? Freddy. It's, oh, you're right. Freddy, you did a scary in here. And then suddenly, out popped a squirrel. No, it wasn't a squirrel this time. It was a skeleton. I ain't gonna do it. What? Come, come on, Mark. It's... I look ridiculous. What? Mark, I'm sure you look no, fine. I had to be pretty, pretty pony. I was okay with that, but now I just look ridiculous. Mark, please, it's Charlie's story. No, the skeleton shirt doesn't fit me. Whoever cast the story didn't realize that. Ma Mark. Did your mom stop doing your laundry for you? All right, fine, I'll come. All right. Out popped a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scariest shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> we'll wash it in cold water next time, just a suggestion. <laughs> well, there's only one thing they could do. There's only one thing we can do. What? Throw rocks at it. Get some rocks and start throwing them! More! More! Here, you help out! Throw some rocks! And suddenly, the rocks flew everywhere. Throw and rocks! Then throw rocks! The cave seemed to explode! Whoa! And Teddy and Freddy flew out of the cave! Whoa! And they found themselves in Trenton, Michigan. Wow! Freddy, we're back in Michigan. This is great! And, and we're safe! And we'll never see that skeleton again! Will we?
And so we'll be hearing from our star as he comes out of wardrobe. We're at you for Eric, everybody! Good job, Eric. Thank you so much. Give a sit back down. Thank you for helping us get the get yeah, bigger. One size fits all. <laughs>